we talked about simple correlation now we would proceed with special correlation simple correlation means that there are two variables and the impact of independent and dependent variable is studied on one another under special correlations we would understand conditions where either one of them would be continuous or dichotomous or both of them would be dichotomous then they could be naturally occurring dichotomous or artificially occurring dichotomous uh, what is the difference between each of these correlations and where do we apply what kind of correlation is extremely important okay to begin with we understand the very first type and that is known as the biserial correlation biserial correlation is a correlation where one variable is a continuous variable the second variable is a dichotomous variable but this is a artificial dichotomous variable what does that mean that means that in real world there could be more than two ways in which it could be explained but for our study we have understood only two forms of it for example if i want to understand the relation of hope and mood so hope here is a continuous variable on the other hand what is mood for my study i am dividing mood into happy or sad but in reality mood can be in various forms or there can be more variations of mood but only for my study i am taking it as a as happy or sad and therefore what i am using is a dichotomous variable but it is an artificially dichotomous and in this case we would apply biserial correlation i repeat again biserial is a special form of correlation where one variable is continuous the other variable is dichotomous the second variable which is dichotomous in the case of biserial is an artificial variable it's an artificial dichotomous variable what is a natural dichotomous variable natural dichotomous variables are those which occur only in two forms naturally for example a person can be dead or alive the gender could be male or female so it's naturally just two forms that we study but artificial dichotomous means that for our study we have divided it into two forms naturally speaking there can be more than two forms in which they can occur clear so in the case of biserial we are using artificial dichotomous forms now how do we find out the artificial the biserial correlation the formula for the biserial correlation is very simple it is y1 minus y0 y1 is the mean score where x is uh, 1 and y0 is the mean score where x is 0 multiplied by pq divided by y p and y are what p and q are what p is the proportion of data pair uh, pairs for x is equal to 0 and y uh, sorry q is when the data pairs are x is equal to 1 divided by y uh, the whole divided by the standard deviation of the population okay and that's how we calculate the biserial uh, correlation now biserial correlation can be related to point by serial correlation how first of all the formula there is another formula that we use for by serial correlation that is the mean scores of y1 minus y0 divided by the standard deviation of y multiplied by p0 p1 divided by h now p0 p1 are the proportion of the data pairs with the x scores of 0 and 1 divided by h which is the ordinate uh, of or the height of the normal distribution at the point which divides the proportions p0 and p1 okay so h is the ordinate there so when we are finding out a relation between by serial and point by serial i can simply say by serial is equal to the core the point by serial correlation multiplied by root of p0 p1 divided by h where again p0 and p1 are the proportions of the data pair with x scores of 0 and 1 divided by h which is the ordinate or the height of the standard normal distribution 
solution at a point which divides the proportions uh, into p0 and p1 so that's the relation that's the formula for the biserial correlation now what is point by serial correlation point by serial correlation is a special form of correlation where i have one variable which is continuous and the other variable which is naturally occurring dichotomous form which is natural dich dichotomous form how do we understand this let's say i have intelligence as a continuous variable and then i understand the intelligence for males and females so this is where we apply point by serial understood clearly by serial is applied where one variable is continuous the other is artificial uh, dichotomous in the case of point by serial one variable is continuous the other variable is a naturally dichotomous variable for example male and female so i understand the intelligence of male and female now how do i calculate it the well, the method is very simple let's say i i i am studying the marks of the students and the gender okay so all the males would be given zero and uh, would be numbered as zero and all the females would be numbered as one now i would have the marks of all the male candidates and marks of all the female candidates i would find out the mean of the male candidates the mean of uh, the mean of the female candidates and the standard deviation of the male and the standard deviation of the female candidates and then i also find out the covariance covariance is how the association is which we have already covered in our uh, previous section so covariance is simply the association the summation of x minus x bar and y minus y bar divided by n minus 1 so it's how we calculate the covariance so here my covariance comes out to be uh, let's say 1.76 then that covariance i would divide it with the standard deviation uh, for both the groups for males and for as well as the females the what would be the standard deviation and i would divide it so i would have the value as let's say 0.386 okay so 0.386 would be the value here and now i would find out how this correlation is important so i repeat again in the case of point by serial what i do is i have a very simple formula for correlation which is covariance divided by standard deviation